Library one. So, um, I found out that the Washington Monument actually has beacons. Some, they're installed horizontally. So, um, we was talking on Discord because I was wondering, because I watched a few videos about the Washington Monument. And I seen these lights flashing on it, so I thought they could have been incandescent beacons because how they flash. So it turns out those actually are beacons. Now, um, years ago, there used to be one on the very top of the Washington Monument. So um, here's where the one of the incandescents would shine out. It would flash like an incandescent because it, that's what it was basically. I thought it was. I thought they looked like the actual tower beacons, like the 300 millimeters. But it turns out that's what they look like. Because um, Anchor 10 sent us a picture of what they look like on Discord. But if you look up YouTube videos of the Washington Monument at night, you'll see videos of these lights blinking on them. So yeah, and, um, hopefully it doesn't get LEDs because I really like the way they look. It makes the tower look kind of cool at night with its red eyes. As you know, they're installed horizontally. So um, I wanted to film more tower beacons while I was at it. So here's an FH-308. It's um on a microwave tower. No, this one's one up in a Cleveland area. Never mind. It's, I thought this was the one on that one microwave tower I knew, but it's a white-only beacon because that's what the FH-308 was. And then here's um, an LED. I think it could have been the FTS-370 on an AT&T Long Lines Tower in Pennsylvania. So there's a video of it on YouTube at night because it's beside a really tall candelabra. <clears throat> and um, it's not crappy. It's like one of those... Um, LEDs as the long night mode, not like the quick burst, but it's it's not a crappy LED. And then um, here's the FH-308 I meant to talk about earlier that I got mixed up with. This one's the one on the microwave tower. So I'm a seen, I only seen this one once before. Well, twice actually, but I was, we was driving around at night looking at these wind turbines with their FTS-370s. And then the distance, I seen this FH-308 night mode because it was dark out at the time. Then I also seen this again in day mode um, last year, I think. Well, it could have been about two years ago by now. Then here's a white-only FTS-370 on the first Lowe's Tower there in Rolla, Missouri. But um, So this one here actually repla replaced an old FH-308 from, I think, the 90s, but... Now, when this tower was first built, there's a possibility that this tower had an FH-301 because of it, because it had an FH-308, and now it's got white-only FTS-370. Then here's the new 370 on the second Lowe's Tower. It's a crappy one, but at least it doesn't have any flashing markers, but there it is at the top. Now, it's been starting to show on Street View and on Google Maps now. Well, they, they ain't updated the Google the Google Maps serial view in the Lowe's Tower area yet. So it still it still even shows the monopole on the aerial view of Google Maps. Then here's one of the Nashville Candelabras, the Trinity one. This one here has box strobes and um I think it could have had 307s now, but it used to have the setup as um box strobes and modern incandescents. But it now has like an FH three twenty four on the top. So yeah, it could be the box strobes and 307 setup. And then here's one of the Kansas City candelabras. I forget what setup it had, but it's got night mode only LEDs now. Now it could either be, um, it could be flash technology is what they are. Either the 370 or it could be the 360, the night mode only LEDs, because... There is um, a 370 type that actually is night mode only, so it could either be that, and if not, it could be a 360. And then, here's an FH-24 on one of my favorite mall towers in Springfield. I remember that one going into backup night mode a few years back. And then here's another 324 on the tower I could see from my house. It's actually really close to me. Then here's an ILS 3600. I filmed this tower a couple of times and I used to go to my grandma's house a lot because I could see it in the distance. Then here's a tower that has, I think, D264s. Now the flash rate is kind of messed up because they flash at separate times. So um, it, 
If it is LEDs, it could be the D264 from Dialyte, or it could be incandescence, but I think Motor 2K said it was LEDs. So, yeah, that could be the... And then here's a 300 millimeter on, a, on like um, a monument in Texas. This one here reminds me of the 300 millimeter on the building at Henry Park that Ryan C. F likes to take pictures of all the time. It's got a weird latch on it and everything, but this looks kind of like it, although I don't think this one's got a weird latch on it. But they do have a top thing on them that helps to hoist them up and hoist them down, like during replacements and all that, so... I don't know if they ever had people repairing them, or if they were original beacons, but... Anyways, here's one on the St. Louis Arch. This one here used to have a filter 300 millimeter, but now has the 360 from Flash Technology. That, you know, I kind at first I thought that was the dial light, but it's a night mode only LED, so... It, it probably is dial light, but now that I think about it, it's probably flash technology. Because I think Ryan C. said it was the 360, because he's seen it on the flash technology website. Then here's an ILS 3600 up close on the tower. So I don't know much about this tower or where it's located, but I'll find it later, because I'm good at that kind of stuff. But This is probably new installation, because how new it looks in the picture, so... Yeah, it's probably like um, 2016 or 2017, because there's a tower near me that got the ILS 3600 around the same time. Then here's the red and white cell tower at the 300 millimeter. that's modern. You can kind of see it right there at the top. I think it has markers too, but you know, cell phone towers that are regular with 300 millimeters are rare, you know, unless it's like built in the early 90s, because... I know the red and white Jackson Hill tower might have had a chance to have a 300 millimeter because it was built in 1991. Either that or it had an FH-306, but it still has its 324. And then here are the incandescents on the top of the Washington Monument. And um, here's the downtown St. Louis concrete tower. This one here has a Huey and Phillips DC Horizon LED. I think it shines white only. But, um, there was a drone video I watched of St. Louis Art trying to get that video, or a picture of it, of the beacon on top, and in the background I could see a white-only LED, and I think that could be this LED right here. But, um, it used to have something from Dialyte, one of those beacons, but it could still be sitting on the tower, it's just, it's not up, it's just not up on one of those poles anymore. And then there's the inside of the Washington Monument with that incandescent. So, 